1860 now. We spent almost 30 years at war, constantly. He actually did an Onyx cast of Spelly, that's brutal. Fucking hell. Well, he that's, the, event. Event. I mean, that's the fucking yeah. event thing. Right. It's 20 infamy to Annex Queen Cool. I'm not saying it's a bad move or anything, I'm just, uh, it's fucking brutal. Oh, yeah, so... yeah, I'm, I'm, I, doing, I'm doing what I can, please. I, it's bad, I just want to hold the defense. Did PG, crash? you can play the what's left of Plantaginia. Yeah, no, it's frozen. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to hold the defense. That so... one hold, man, he's getting more brigades. I just realized... Belgian Confederacy made a real fucking comeback. Like, yeah, it really did. Zero to but, uh, Vinland di army died and they fell the rebels. Why the Jenny's getting 14k? 14 like, fucking J. Wait, what? What the fuck? Oh, He's dead. Plantagen AI activated this decision that I didn't activate yet. That's oh, what he did. yeah. Dude, I don't get that decision. That's so fucking annoying. Like,. Oh my god, look at Plantagenia's immigrant. What? The Chinese oh, I have literally Listen, nine dude, one gun. This is what I was saying, right? Even with the event scene, that's fucking crazy. Plastic, let me tell you what my plan was. I was gonna get out of the war with Finland and then use that <laughs> four or so years before wow. your truce ended to take that decision and get my Jeez. pops up. Like, I was so fucking scared of you using that because, like, I didn't get it and I was, I was like, gonna... really paranoid. I was gonna do like, that. You're, but... you're getting 10k too, Brian. There are dead things, dead faces in the water. Okay, guy, you're on life support because of fucking uh, I know. Aragon. Fuck. Aragon put you on life support, you shouldn't be alive. <laughs> I know. If, let's say hypothetically, I form Arcadia and I'm a late game power, whatever side is against Aragon, I'll be there. I will be fighting a guerrilla war in Quinku. Uh, I respect you for that. Plantagenia is a republic now, very interesting. They've lost. Wait, they also released Scott, uh... Also got Scott Maybe they'll get more immigrants now. Well, Wait, I, honestly, like, you and Spudgun would be an even fight in the long run, and I'm not gonna, like, jump in to kill him. I'm not gonna, like, be attacking Belgian Confederacy. I'll leave it to you two to just duke it out in the long run. Alright. I think that's fair. After everything. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't get a fucking gra coming? Don't get Aragorn in again. Thank you. I'm yeah, joining no, in for 25 more in for me, Spud. Spud, do you think you can form my kitty in this game? No, I don't think <laughs> I can. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Oh shit, is that <laughs> really? typing. The hell? Oh, Jesus. Japan. <laughs> you know what? The mad. That time was nine brigades. Good luck. That's insane. They're trying to get okay, around to form China. Monster. They're forming the fucking Australian Chinese map. That's uh, hilarious. I hope it happens. Okay, if you don't want speed immediately, I quit. <laughs> no, are you invoking the rage quit clause for one speed? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, what I'm are you doing, confused. virtual ride? I'm completely confused. Uh, is this some Only for a minus one? five attack into mountain skin. So is this some trick? It's really weird timing for Virtual Rock to attack China 
while also I'm just going to throw my men and you. like endless waves. So I don't That's care. okay. He'll never full siege me. Then yeah. than I that attack Actually, um, conflict that is suicide. Huh? That is. That uh, is no, no, no. Too fast to catch this. I can't stop. Jesus Christ, conflicts. <laughs> I am. I'm doing this like until until he has no more manpower. I don't care. He's still fighting that battle. Yes, but I'm going to retreat out of it and attack again. Oh my god, cornflakes just got. <sighs> Dude, wrecked. just attack the bloody plains province beside it. Speed. Once again, they fell to rebels. I could do two speed. Like put on two speed. We don't want to watch cornflakes nation ruin in slow motion. Nation, <laughs> fuck you. I'll put it on yeah, one what nation are you playing you again? Battle. I don't know what nation I'm playing. I'm moving around <laughs> so much. Yes, you've always been the Belgian Confederacy. Never anything else. Yo guys, it's Banana Man here. Welcome to another video. Is he really doing this? He's oh, extending his eye. line even though he doesn't want The sad thing is if the actual Belgian player wanted to come back, he has a legitimate claim to play this country. Right. Uh, what are you mobilizing for? F. Disconnected POG. Who's I mean, POG? Oh, right. He was Queen Q. Yep. Oh well. Ching Chu. You're all right at micromanagement. Thank you. That's just that's tiresome. I know. I'm Wait. sorry, but I looked at your population and it was higher than mine. <laughs> Why would you declare on me then if you're gonna lose? What? I don't think there's any I'm other. Sure. I mean, time. if you play your cards right, you might win, Tokyo. Guys. Yeah, win. Vinland is gonna lose this. The fuck? Yeah, I know. But you're outnumbered pretty bad. Vinland's also sitting on 25 war exhaustion right now. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to accept this call to arms and blockade him. Should not have done that. Topic. Fun well lasted. I'm yeah, calling in the fun. Ottoman Empire. No, I'm not. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm. I'm sending. I'm sending the navy over. I just need some infamy reduction first. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get a fucking break this campaign? Fuck. No one is. I mean, no, you don't. <laughs> Uh, is there any other nations I could possibly go on, or is that no, about um, You could play as the Arab, um, the Arab Gen, Confederation. Yeah. If you play as Switzerland, I'll support you. Right, listen, 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 listen. I, I need money. Accept the grant. Thank you. 
Same here. Someone give me money, please. Well, I mean, I don't think I'll be any well, I'll next time. You guys can just tell me what you want me to be. Thank you. Keep uh, rolling, I guess. It's like the main is we can end already. Like, uh, no, times. no, don't end. If I if we end while I'm at war with Vinland, he'll fucking get a European over the week. Honestly. Uh, <laughs> 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 I wish. fucking Somebody cares. We put mouse breathers on fucking GPs and they go fight in like v Vinland for like fucking seven years, dude, for 20 <laughs> infamy that he would have gotten if he didn't fight before. Uh, yeah. I really what can't have imagine? this war with Vinland go over a week. Someone will join. I yeah, fucking what? guarantee it. I don't know who it'll be. I've been surprised every time, so I, I mean... <laughs> someone I can... Spongonisa <laughs> might get this shit done. I mean, I guess we kind of. Uh, this war is gonna carry on over the week, man. It is. Fucked. <laughs> Game Whatever. over, man. Well, Spongy, you just gotta do some Diplo, man. You no. have to end this war in three minutes. You Listen, can do take it. my fucking Diplo with Dark Neutron, for example. I asked him, I'll give him infamy if he helps me in America. You know what he says? He can't afford to send troops to America because zombies breathing down his neck. We have to go. No, we don't have to go. I have to go yeah. kill Tokiga. Good, how about a white piece? Too late. Oh, fuck. You declared on me. Listen, uh, I need money. You're my spear lord, Joust. Holy fuck. Yes. Yeah, I understand that, but you have, like, have some pride, man. Alright, yeah. zombie, can I get 50k? I'm like on the verge of bankruptcy. Plastic, why don't you go and save off. Spud from this cruel misery? I, I'm, so, I'm I mean, pretty yeah, self-sustaining yeah. at this point on this country. I mean, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna hold off uh, Vinland. Yeah, he is. Like actually wants, uh, on the American door. Vision step. alliances on this American war. It's about to yeah. go down. It's so fucking oh, intense yeah. right now. Run away! Oh yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> You guys are talking about the Belgians getting a lot of immigrants, but Plantagenia is getting 10k a month. When I was Plantagenia, I didn't take the huge immigration decision initially, and then the AI took it when I moved off. Yeah, why didn't you take it? Because uh, I was playing a long game with it. This is a Sino Japanese war, dude. This is fucking epic. <laughs> Yeah, look, look, at, look what Rad. Uh, wait, Joust, did you do that or did Rad Tad invade Hainan? <laughs> was that? Well, Rad Tad told me too. Yeah, so. Okay. I <laughs> Got a minus two defense in there. Blow up some <laughs> oh my gosh, ten million. Oh my fucking god! Moon boy, why? Ah! <laughs> the wall, the wall, there we go.
Finland's <laughs> dead. Finland is dead. He owes me infamy still. I would meta grudge him if he switched. I would literally go and kill I his mean, nation. He's dead. You can't really meta grudge him now. Are you implying <laughs> you're not already play. being meta grudged by me? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I, no, I, I wouldn't meta grudge you, Spud. No, I'm I would meta grudge him if he switched. Never do that for you, Spud. Never. I'm going to make a video I'm where you're not on that. that line. Yeah, and it's just called uploading the fight. session without editing. That would put you in a bad I If you don't accept that peace deal, I'm just going to force peace you out in like a, a couple of months. I ain't okay. Taking more than that. Oh, <laughs> please, Oh. What? Belgians are at war again. Wait, why the yeah. fuck did Villain attack? Villain suicide, I'm sorry. Right, the truce, truce broke me. Thanks Why did Villain? What? See, I guess you're gonna have to kill him, Smugga. I guess you're gonna have to take... I guess. The Sublime Port joined against... <laughs> joined against Villain. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, ask with. Why the fuck am I at war with Vinland? He attacked me. Oh, did I join? I don't know. You must have. Look at the I don't mm. Holy shit, Token Guy. That's a lot of rebels. That is more than your That's Your rebels are gonna kill me more than your army. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that's insane. Evil, evil How many rebels is it? That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. Can fuck. I get a vision alliance on that? Like, I wanna see. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's a lot. I wanna see the rebels. Shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them win. <laughs> oh, the militant socialists, I see. I thought they spawned in your lands, but wow. Oof. Why are you popping? Fuck, do I kill these rebels? Nah, I don't. I don't, I don't kill them. Right, Moonboy, I don't mean to alarm no. you. I don't mean to alarm you, but you are the war okay, leader okay. against Vinland. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, just let, tell me what I need to do. Uh, nothing yet, actually. Because I'm a little bit preoccupied. I'm, I'm just letting lie. you know that this is going to be a, a future issue that you have to deal with. Uh, why would that be an issue? Because you need to peace Where? out with him when I'm fucking ready. <laughs> uh, Whoa! A fucking jingoist state capitalist li liberal party? Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! That is oh, huge. Oh, in like yeah. peace uh, becomes a puppet of the Belgian. Accept yes, the puppet. Accept the puppet, yeah. Wait, what? Thank you. I mean, it's nothing now? to do with it. It's me puppeting Vinland. China was the war leader. Nothing oh, to see on. here. Oh. <laughs> I, need I thought you were puppeting China. I'm like, wait, what? I'm out of 100 VA, so I don't know. Demobilized and remobilized. Well, you're holding out, you know, boy. Hold out to the last man. No, man. I'm not. I'm not holding out. Because they have a war <laughs> attack. Oh. So any any defense I have instantly collapses. Yeah, by the way, I got, I got those four. I got those four. Then attack fucking generals, like, attack war, him! Started. Attack him then! So what the fuck is Zhu Rao anyway? Is it like Chinese, Japanese, Koreanese? Like Chinese oh. Australia? Yeah, it, was, Chinese. it was a Chinese. It was like a Chinese. Uh, yeah, they're not gonna take uh, it. Oh uh, yeah. They did it! <laughs> oh my god! We did god. it, guys! <laughs> oh, Jesus, oh, we Christ, did man. it! Red Tad did it! No, no, that was <laughs> terrible. Well, <laughs> Juice! Why did you do that? that? When I see that dude, all I'm seeing is a free trigger in the second war, dude. That's... Yeah, why did you do yeah, that? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck that was. Wait, wait, how, mu how much growth does Platter Journey get? Wow. 30k! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Good, good, good. fucking. The, the Plantadina is gonna be viable as GP in a few years. Oh, there's the Rebels. <laughs>
Well, we've got quite a lot to talk about here. Let's do some analysis on these events that have unfolded. The wars, the diplomacy and the maps. What happened to Ching Chu has been alluded to for a while and I think we've all seen it coming. Japan has completely annexed Ching Chu and has all the land for himself. Japan gets this aptly named decision to get a free instant declaration of war on Ching Chu for annexation. And that's what he did. He marched in from Japan's Alaskan colony as well as Grand Columbia because they were still at war with Ching Chu from the Plantagenian conflict. Ching Chu's armies weren't even in his own country when Japan attacked. They were in Plantagenia still. Was it me on Plantagenia who destroyed Ching Chu by dragging him into this and then dragging him to his own demise? Pretty much, yes. Not only did I drag him down fighting this war against Gran Colombia, Vinland and Aragon, but as I mentioned earlier, I was the reason that Japan got into the Americas in the first place and declared his interest in annexing Ching Chu. But he stuck with me, he stuck with Plantagenia and he didn't abandon the ship as it was sinking. After a certain point, there weren't really any options for Ching Chu to not be annexed by Japan. His only hope was to keep investing in Plantagenia to build up that potential Arcadian superpower which could then help him and be strong enough to prevent Japan annexing him. But again, it was pretty much Aragon Italy's intervention that prevented this all happening, dragging out the Vinland War, getting Ching Chu bogged down and then that was it. When I moved to the Belgian Confederacy, there was absolutely no way I could help Ching Chu. I couldn't even build any units initially because I wasn't in a sphere of influence getting military goods, but I sorted that out a little bit later. And then if I helped Ching Chu, I probably can't even beat Japan's army with him, and then Grand Colombia and Vinland would kill the Belgians while I did that, so completely impossible. Also, I don't think there was any room for Ching Chu to do negotiations with Grand Colombia because it's in Grand Colombia's interest for Japan to be there rather than Ching Chu. Colombia is not an expansion route for Japan, but it is for Ching Chu. Japan's capital is in Asia, they can't get connected ports in America ever, whereas Ching Chu obviously can get connected ports right down Grand Colombia's coastline. For Japan, America is really just a sideshow, that's not Japan's primary focus, so they will not be focused on fighting Grand Colombia, they'll be focused on Asia, particularly China. And obviously for Ching Chu, the Americas is their primary focus. Very interestingly, going way back, this is also the same reason I would have wanted Spain to beat Gran Colombia. So there goes Ching Chu, you know, a loyal ally. He started out the game pretty hopeless at micromanagement and got loads of armies killed against Gran Colombia. But the great thing is, we saw his improvement throughout the course of the game. And in the end, he was doing fine. Just imagine being a new player to Victoria 2 multiplayer. You sign up as a nice easy country in the Americas, because that's what everyone's told you. And then you get in expecting a nice easy ride, and the campaign you're in is the American bloodbath. Japan, Zurao, and China. Australia in this mod, lore wise, is an ex-colony of China, same as Ching Chu. Both these ex-colonies actually have a decision to unite China and form it themselves. And that's what's happening in this campaign. Zurao backed by Japan of course, is going to try and annex China and form it. Why would Japan do this seemingly insane action instead of just annexing all of China himself? It's the Casus Belli's in infamy. It's this Chinese reunification Casus Belli. It's all about this. This is a zero infamy acquire state Casus Belli between Chinese nations for Chinese territory. You need to have a border with the nation you use it on. So obviously the Australian colony of Zurao has no borders with China at the start. So how was Zirao able to declare war on the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom to use this? Well, I've had to do some historical research on this one. In 1855, Burgundy transferred Hong Kong to Zirao, thus giving them access to the Chinese reunification casus belli on the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom. They declare war, call in Japan, 3.2 million casualties later, they've got all this land. So Japan was quite the multitasker, annexing one ex-Chinese colony, while supporting the other one to annex China. Absolutely insane. I also need to quickly mention what happened in Europe, because at the end of the last episode we saw the dismembered monarchy, the dual monarchy, getting partitioned almost by the other European powers. From my point of view it was almost a form of justice seeing this happen to the dual monarchy after he refused to do anything when Aragon Italy had half his army in the Americas, only for it to come back and then kill him with Scandinavia and Burgundy. I don't know the actual diplomacy between these European countries, but that's what it looked like to me. At least if the dual monarchy attacked Aragon while half his army is in America, he would have fought exactly the same war he did, only with less Aragonese Italians to deal with. So anyway, he got invaded, he lost, and he got five regions taken off him. A really crippling peace deal. To cut a long story short, he got most of it back the next session through transfers. It would take far too long to go into all the details and reasons for this. We need to talk about the Americas. 
So now we finally get to our things on the Belgian Confederacy fighting Vinland for the supremacy in Arcadia. We nation hopped onto the Belgian Confederacy in the last part and we are continuing it with the dream of forming Arcadia on a new nation now. The Belgian Confederacy of course reduced to one province and then Plantagenia and Vinland tore each other to the ground, allowing the Belgians to come back and gain land through rebels, most of which came from Vinland of course. As I mentioned in regard to Ching Chu, when I hopped on the Belgians they had no army and they couldn't get military goods to build any army. So that ruled out the possibility of immediately declaring war on Vinland, which would have been an interesting move, but on the other hand Vinland and Grand Columbia could have attacked me and gotten me out of the game completely and that would have been the best time to do it, but they didn't take that option. Vinland was completely dying on war exhaustion and his army was a mess. As nice as it was to be able to hop onto the Belgian Confederacy and continue this campaign, they were in a much worse state than Plantagenia in many ways. Plantagenia was an absolute war machine, 15 military tech compared to 8 on the Belgians. And as I said right at the start of the series, this is a republic so I can't choose my ruling party anymore. But the most tragic thing was the immigration decision. You saw what happened. As soon as I moved off of Plantagenia, the AI took the decision and it absolutely skyrocketed. China westernized and of course they went to war for a very long time, getting war exhaustion and pushing it even more. I'll show you all the populations in the next episode because I don't actually have a save at the time we've ended this episode. The Aragonese intervention completely changed Grand Colombia's diplomacy. He was not happy with the Aragonese intervention at all and he became very sympathetic towards what happened to me. And that's how we came to some negotiations where he let me do the 1v1 with Finland without him interfering. He did insist on one term that I wouldn't take any non-code territory off of Finland, so only cores of the Belgian Confederacy, and that's what I did. Then of course Finland did his truce break and left the nation, and I puppeted the AI as it now is. A relatively tame episode of the American bloodbath without so many casualties in the American wars. However, we had two national casualties in this part. Ching Chu and Vinland are gone. And we, as the Belgian Confederacy, are left in the ruins of Plantagenia and the ruins of Vinland as the sole survivors in Arcadia. But we still cannot form it. There's a great showdown approaching. Gran Colombia still stands as the most powerful American nation and he stands in the way of forming Arcadia. He showed us great leniency here, but we both know that this showdown is coming. There has to be a confrontation between the Arcadians and the Grand Colombians. How is it going to happen? Will anyone intervene? How do the sides stack up? We'll find that all in the next part. Now that I'm finally ending an episode with me speaking, I can ask you to join my Discord, check out my Patreon, watch my streams on Twitch, like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.